So I was approached by our track and field coaches. They wanted me to create a graphic invitation that they could send to recruits. And I did that, and they wanted a way to easily export lots of these uh, in a custom way. And so what I did is created, uh, I created this document, and I set it up in a way that they can feed a uh, CSV file into Photoshop and generate uh, as many of these as they want. And the way... I've done that is um, first I designed it and then I need to determine what things need to change and for this particular graphic the things that need to possibly change are this this picture uh, the logo and this salutation line and so if we look in, in my layers panel I have logos and I have our the three possible logos that they may want to send a track logo a cross-country logo and a combined track and cross-country logo okay and um, we need to update this photo and what they decided is that they basically wanted that to update by event group and so there is a handful of event groups and genders and so, for example, all the female hurdlers will get an invitation with a female hurdler on, on their graphic. So, I have a folder, a men's folder and a women's folder, and inside that folder, uh, a folder for each event group. And you can see in here, uh, inside the photo is, in that folder is the photo. So, if we hide that one, we can see the pole vault, jumps, distance so on and so forth. And so how this will work is that the CSV file will tell us basically which folders should be visible. And it's going to be the same for the logo. Which of these logos should be visible? Now, I could do on with the logos, I will do the variable directly on the logo layer because it's not going to change. For the photos, I'm going to put the photos in the folder and make the folder a variable because that gives me the opportunity at another point to just drag a new photo in here without changing any of my variable settings. And the last thing that changes uh, is uh, this, this salutation. And um, originally, the text that they wanted, it was all in one paragraph. But in order to make this work... I needed that salutation to be separate from the, the main text. So there's a text box and there's a text box. And so now that I've got these all set up, what I need to do is define variables for them. And so for that, I'm going to image, variables, and define. And in this drop down menu is every layer in the Photoshop document. And you can see there's a bunch of asterisks. And the asterisks are variables that I've already defined. So I've already done this so you don't have to sit through and watch watch me do it. So on the layer salutation, I have two options, a visibility and a text replacement. This one is a text replacement. So I'm going to check text replacement. I'm going to give it a variable name. I'm just going to call it salutation, all caps. And what that means is that the text of, of this will be replaced with whatever text comes in from the CSV file. And if I go to my logos, I've got my track logo. And this one, uh, it can only, because it's not a text box, text replacement isn't an option, it can only be visibility. So on or off, is it visible or is it not? And I have defined that name as logo TF, and then logo XC, and then logo XCTF. And for all my folders, you can see again, you can see there's the folder with the image above it. And I'm, a, I'm doing the variable on the folder in this case, not on the image itself. And that allows me to, again, update the photo at a later point in time. So, in women's hurdles, I have W hurdles. And 
as I go down, you can see they are they're all done in the same naming convention, and they've all got asterisks. And so I can look and make sure that all these are asterisks, and so I've got everything is defined as it should be. And so I click OK. The next step is to create the the CSV file. And so I have an Excel file, and this is just some example data with some names. Um, in in the design, uh, I wanted it to be the name comma, and so I have to include the comma in the salutation. So uh, what you see here is what will get replaced in the Photoshop doc. And you can see above here all my column headings match the variable names that I defined in Photoshop. You know, logo XE, logo TF, logo XE, TF. And then here are all the the, the different uh, groups. And what I did in this test case is basically I have set it so that um, all the possible group when I generate the files, all the possible groups um, will generate. But if I were to do this um, from the start, you know what I would do is create false all the way across. And so I'm going to say Tom, comma, and then Tom is a, a track person. So let's make that true. And he is a, a men's pole vaulter. So I'll make that true. And then so on and so forth. So that's, that's how you would do it down the line for each person. Um, you'd start with all falses and then just make the ones true that you want true. So pretty simple. So we save that. And let's close out of you. So I saved that file, and I come back into Photoshop, and now I'm going to go to Image, Variables, Datasets, before we went to Defined, and now we're actually going to import the datasets. And so I'm going to come to Import, and I'm going to select this file, and that was right on my desktop. And by default, it's going to look for text files. We just want to change that to CSV files, and there's my Recruit Graphics input and um, encoding should be automatic we want to check use first column for data set names and what that uh, what that means is um, ultimately when we save these files out what the file will be named as and we want to replace existing data sets so I'll click OK and so now because I have preview set I can toggle between each one of these and you can see that it changes the logo, it changes the graphic, and it changes the salutation line. And so I've got all these all set. And so I click OK. And so it's all loaded in, and now what I need to do is export that. So I've got my. There's. <clears throat> both of these at the same time so you can see so here's my folder and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go file export data sets as files and so what that's gonna do is it's gonna export each data set each each one of those CSV lines as a separate Photoshop document and so I'm gonna do it in graphics temp and the naming convention I'm just using the data set name Yes, my, you can see the example is Riley.psd. So I'm going to click OK. And boom, you can see it just starts dumping those in there. There they go. It's going one by one. It's going to go through and it's going to export a PSD file for each one of those. Each one of those CSV lines. And as you recall, the last one we added was Tom. And there it is. There's Tom right there. And so now I have all of these PSD files 
um, all custom graphics ready to go. I just need to convert them to JS or uh, JPEGs so that they can uh, be sent out easily. So I'm just going to use Image Processor for that. So in Bridge, I'm going to highlight them all and go to Tools, Photoshop, and Image Processor. And the selected image process, I'm doing those from Bridge. I'm going to save it in the same location. I'm going to save as JPEG, Quality 12. I'm not going to resize to fit. And then I'm going to run. Now you'll see a new JPEG folder appear, and it will go through and process each one of those. You can see it actually opens it in Photoshop briefly, and then saves it out as a JPEG. So it's going to go through and render all of those PSD files as JPEGs. Let's see, it goes pretty quickly um, for you know a, a large a, you can probably do uh, probably a, about a hundred um, at once with image processor and um, once you get over that unless you have a pretty beefy system it'll probably start um, dragging it down but um, if that's an issue you can always just do them um, a couple at a time 10 20 at a time something like that Okay, so there we go. They're all in there. Um, you know, Tom is our last one. And we have a bunch of JPEGs ready to go. If you don't have Bridge, um, which for some reason on our campus, Bridge, Photoshop gets installed on computers, but Bridge does not, um, you can do the same thing from within Photoshop. And so what you would do... Uh, there is file, scripts, image processor, and then you just manually go and grab um, grab those those files. So mine, I believe, is in here. And click OK. Um, I don't want to include subfolders, so I need that unchecked. And uh, it will do the same thing that way. So you can do it right from Photoshop, or you can do it from Bridge. Uh, I like Bridge. It's super handy. If you have it, I would definitely encourage you taking a look um, at using it. But uh, there is a pretty simple way to generate a bunch of custom graphics uh, without a ton of work. So I hope you find that helpful.